This month's inspirational icon is British theoretical physicist, cosmologist, and author Stephen Hawking. Hawking was born to a research biologist and his wife in the town of Oxford, England, on January 8, 1942. Most of Hawking's elementary education actually took place at an all-girls school called St. Albans. The school, well known for its academics, permitted young boys to attend at the time. There, Stephen was an average student. Right, to be sure, but never an exceptional pupil. Hawking's father had received his degree from the University College in Oxford, and he encouraged his son Stephen to do the same. At that time, it was not possible for a student to pursue mathematics, so Hawking's decided to study chemistry and physics instead. When asked about Hawking's performance in college, his physics tutor, Robert Berman, said it was only necessary for him to know that something could be done and he could do it without looking to see how other people did it. His mind was completely different from all of his contemporaries. After graduating from Oxford in 1962, Hawking went to Trinity Hall, Cambridge for his graduate school work. It was at this time in his life that Stephen began to show symptoms of a disease called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Most people suffering from Lou Gehrig's disease die after four years. Stephen Hawking, however, is not most people. He has had the unusual luck to live with the disease for over 50 years. However, Hawking didn't just keep breathing, he also kept discovering. He's most famous for his work on the ever-mysterious black holes of our universe. He hypothesized that black holes have just a few physical properties and that they emit a type of radiation now known as Hawking radiation. Soon after, Hawking was made the Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at the University of Cambridge, the very same academic position that Isaac Newton held two and a half centuries earlier. While the disease may have stopped his body from moving, it never stopped Hawking's mind from wondering and discovering. He went on to make amazing discoveries in cosmology and even wrote a best-selling book on the subject, titled A Brief History of Time. He may have lost his ability to speak, but Stephen Hawking never lost his voice, and that makes him our inspirational icon of the month.